going on everyone? And uh, well, I am resuming playing uh, Resident Evil 4. This time, in no, you guys are seeing X, but this isn't on the Xbox, this is on the PC. And 10 p.m. Oh, well, that's always good to have. Um, again, kind of like Fallout, I'm gonna resume playing this on the PC version instead of on the PS3. Uh, it's just easier for me, really, and uh, I don't know, I, I, I like it better. Now, I have installed some kind of mods, which is one of the perks of playing on the PC. One of them, as you guys saw already, was the, uh, basically, instead of, like, on the PC version, every time you have to press something... Alright, let's just watch this good Got something that might interest you. Strange. Uh, I don't know why they kept this character for Resident Evil 5 and 6. Got a selection of He's a good, good thing. Um, but, yeah. One of the things was what are you buying? basically on the PC version for some odd reason. I'm gonna buy the tin. Is that all struck? And I can put it in here. Yeah, that works. <laughs> and the stock is that all? This reduces recoil by like 80%, which is fantastic. So yeah, <laughs> the reason why Thank I did you. that was what because are you it showed instead of showing like whatever. Oh, this is the upgrades. I, I don't want to upgrade anything. I want to sell stuff. What are you selling? Uh, I'm going to sell the rifle ammo because I'm not going to get a rifle ammo. <laughs> this one, not Thank now. you. I'll keep the flash grenades because they're going to come in handy. Uh, the incendiary can always go. <laughs> hand grenades, I'll keep Thank them. you. I will sell the handgun in the this shotgun eventually, but just not right now. She can actually go and care about it. And Thank you. And... Is that all? And ruby. Ah. High price. And Thank that's you. pretty much it. So yeah, as you can see, guys. It says talk, press the X, because I'm playing with the Xbox 360 controller. That's the main controller I use to play PC games. And instead of saying X, even when using the controller, even though it has control support, even with the keys, instead of saying like the key, like let's say W is press forwards, instead of just saying press W in this X action, no, it'll tell you press key one, key two. So that's a bit confusing to me, and I don't, I really didn't like that. So I got this mod that basically changes that. The, the key ones and key two to show the Xbox 360 controller. There's always for uh, other controllers, but this one is good enough. Another thing is, as you can see, the laser sight is blue instead of being red. Although it's red at the every time I, I aim it and shoot at some guy. Because well, obviously there's there's the issues with these mods, but it's pretty good. It, it can change the thickness of it, the, the laser sight, and also the color. You can pretty much give you any color you can put. C3 RGB level. Oh, yes. Oh, that, that came in by me, yes. I can't again. Can I? Nope. Oh, I, I wanted to kick her in the first place, but it didn't work. Alright, she's dead. So, um, yeah, I just changed it to blue for some other reason. I'll most likely change it throughout the, the entire series of this, hopefully, maybe. I, I don't even know. But um, for the time being, I'll, I'll just leave it as this. Now, I'm gonna put my health and ammo and stuff, uh, organize it. Because this type of inventory, as you guys can see, should be organized and like that and I'm gonna just put this ammunition down here as well as this grenade as you can see this type of, of uh, uh, also as soon as you get this stock and whatnot you gotta combine it to work with the TMP otherwise the stock wouldn't work with it uh, no I don't want to move it um, so I'm pretty much done with this all right and uh, yes blue medallions I will give you a I believe in previous videos I've done, I've given you guys the location of all the blue medallions. I will continue on getting all of them. Although you only need 10 to get this new uh, pistol, I'll give you guys the 15. As you can see, there's three down already in this area. There's another one there that will make the 15. But um, yeah, I'll give you guys the location of all 15 of them, just in case you you miss some of. And I'm enjoying this version better than the PS3 or PS2 version, whatever. Because, uh, like I said, it does have mod support, but I think it's going to be only two mods. I might um, go further with the modding stuff, but that's only going to be like... I, I mean, I, I don't know, I'll go further with the mods, but, but I'm not sure if requested, I might too. Because there, I know there are some mods out there that are like custom story mod, mods and whatnot. And uh, other than just aesthetic. So I might do that, I don't know yet. But we'll see. Can I show you two? It takes so many to die, Jesus. So, uh, yeah, for the time being, I just want to play the game as this. Really? really? Alright, so at least it gives me left stick to, to you know, tell me what to do. 
think I shot him like three or four times. Good head. Just doesn't go down. Uh, also, there's a nest here, so if you guys shoot nests, they usually drop cool stuff like an incendiary grenade. And if you shoot the bell right here, it's gonna basically uh, invoke a horde. So you guys can do it if you want. I'm not going to, because I honestly don't want it. And I got each each he knows for some odd reason. Anyways. Let's go this area first. I believe this is the first area that we gotta go. I'm not sure. And yeah, there's already. Oh crap! I got that one down, so he blows up. Oh crap! Yep. <laughs> so he blows up everything up, and I don't have to do any more work. That was that worked out. So if I go here now, I mean. Baby, I, I'm gonna have to come here eventually, but I'm gonna go somewhere else first and then come back here, I believe. Alright, so I got that. 12 out of 50. So, I'm gonna go down there now. Because if I don't have something else to replace that, I believe I'm gonna get locked in there. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. So don't quote me on that. Leon, have you reached the church yet? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Sorta. Of. Leon, did I mention not to take the scenic route? At any rate, Ashley's probably inside that structure. Rescue her, hurry! Really, is that it? So, alright. I can't remember this exactly 100%. So before I go down there, let me just go here and see if I can do this puzzle right now or, or I have to wait for it later. Uh, it looks like the dial only turns clockwise either 3 or 4 increments. Oh, so okay, I have to do this now. I can't remember which symbols to, to put on though. I'm gonna go back to the cemetery and look for three family uh, symbols thingy. Because I can't remember. I think they change uh, constantly, so I'm never. I'm not, you know, 100% sure which ones there is. So it's this M type. Uh, Alright, so it's an M. And then this weird little butterfly. And Z, oh, I think that's a Z, might, might be an S. So M, Z, and this weird butterfly, that's what I gotta get. And maybe a V? Okay, so probably not a Z, just a V. Um, hmm. Where, where did I saw this? So this is the S. Alright, so I need this, the S, and I think. I'm not sure if I need that little weird butterfly thingy. I need the S, the M, and the MSV. So, okay, I, I, let's hope that's that's it. I'm not 100% sure on this. I can't remember. I always do this puzzle alright, but I, n I can never remember it. So, let's just hope that, that was that. I know that we go here through Ada, I believe, and we have to replace something in order to have this. Three family signatures of the dead ringers. It looks like the dial only turns clockwise in three or four increments. So I need the S, which is this one that's right here, the M and the V, I believe. Was it the V? I can't even remember anymore. So if we turn three, it will be on the V, right? Yes, it will. So if I turn four now, it will be on the S. Now I've got to think this through, because I can't turn three again, otherwise you'll just bring me back to where I was before. But if I turn up 4, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, I'll, I'll just turn 4 twice, maybe. Yeah. I, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. So if I turn 4 again, it will bring me here. So I, I already have half of them bleed up, so I have to turn some of them off now. Like this one. And that one. And that one. Alright, so, so that was it. And I got the green cat's eye. Which um, I'm convinced that was entirely optional. Not that I think of it, but um, I, I got it anyways. And that's how you do that puzzle. Now, that, I know that this. I know that one is at least. He's mandatory when you play an Aiden mission. If I were to kill that now, I should call that. Yep. Te voy a hacer picadillo! <laughs> So one shot basically will make them all fall down. Now if you go in here, I know you can already see that one, but there's a blue here. So if you go to this point, you get the 13, you get the 14 here. 
which, uh, oh crap, there we go, 14, and you get to 15 right there. So that's all the medallions shot in this series, hopefully I, I've shot all of them previously. Oh my god, I, I'm, I'll just get closer, this is better done with the, um, I think there's a snake in this one, right? yep, so if you kill the snake immediately, you get, okay, so I get this as well, you guys can pause and read it, I don't, I don't care about it. Um, so yeah, if you get to kill the snake, you basically get an egg. Um, I'm not sure which eggs really you get. I, I think it's a I'm not sure on that. But uh, yeah, I was expecting for that snake to show up. Let me get a little bit more closer to that. Uh, oh crap! To that one, see if I can shoot with the handgun. No. Crap! I don't waste too much bullets off. Oh, there we go. So 15 out of 15. What do you get if you get a 15? Well, pretty much basically the same that you get as if you get 10. It just gives you one more. You know, just in case you miss them. Shoot him in the head, kick him the head, and then just knife him. That's how I usually take him down. Although in the horror difficulty, I think this is a very good method, but um, for some odd reason, this this is an easy difficulty. I don't know why, don't don't ask. I think I started this in normal on the PS3. I, I usually go for either normal or the horror difficulties. That's just how I like to play the game. Like on easy doesn't really give me that much challenge, so I just tend to be bored of it, but regardless I'm gonna finish this. Now as you can see there's tons of uh, crows there. If I were to equip this uh, grenade, this flash grenade, and were to throw it there, like that, they kills them, all of them. So they're all dead as you guys can see. And yeah, I wasted the grenade kind of. But look at how much stuff I got, so it was worth it. Look at how much money you get, you know. You just go in there and do everything. And you don't really waste it because as you guys could saw I just got it back. So it's not really a waste. You got it back and you got a lot of stuff. So that's a little neat trick for you guys to if you didn't know this already. If you just throw a flash grenade in, in the middle of uh, tons of crows, basically you, you will get a lot of your stuff back. Let's uh, let's go inside here. What nope, there's nothing good in there. Right, what do we get here? Also with this, I, I find that this, uh, I'm not sure if this was with the patch, because I know the patch fixed a lot of stuff that was wrong with the game. But uh, like the field of view is a bit bigger, like they kind of fixed just now on Resident Evil 6. But uh, I think they fixed it on, on 5 as well now. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't... Uh... Alright, so the gate is shut, can you hear something on your side? Switch, I know I know what, what it is already, but uh, I don't think we're gonna see it on this video. Sadly. Now before I go through those double doors, I'm gonna go actually down there to meet the merchant. And he's gonna give me my pistol. And actually I'm gonna end the video here and I'll resume it on the next uh, part. Alright, so I'll resume it on the next one.